Hi guys, Shelly Pelly, Annie Parker Confidential. All right, it's getting around to that time of year where it's getting warm and sunny and we're all thinking about our next vacation, right? If you're planning on going someplace super nice and super luxurious this summer and you're wondering what the heck is resort wear and how do I dress for a place like that, I am going to help you. I grew up in a military family and I didn't have my first experience going to these sorts of luxury resorts until, geez, I would say probably my early 30s. And man, I wish YouTube was around back then because I really wish somebody would have helped me. I probably could have not embarrassed myself for a few years, but I'm gonna share this with you. When my husband and I travel, we exclusively stay at high-end five diamond resorts. That's just the deal. I used to get super overwhelmed and super nervous when packing because I didn't wanna look out of place. I wanted to look like I belonged. And so I would end up inevitably packing like almost my whole closet. I'm gonna help you. I'm going to eliminate all of that for you. I'm gonna share with you you some key packing essentials that I have found to be really helpful for me. Seven different outfits. Then I'm gonna give you some key don'ts. These are things that you definitely do not want to do at a high-end resort, unless you wanna stick out like a sore thumb in a bad way. Okay. Here are my personal key secrets that help me to streamline my packing. I bring one neutral bag and shoe combo that will go with all of my evening outfits. This is assuming we're gonna be someplace for about a week. And what I'm showing you today, I have chosen a white pair of mid heels and a white clutch. You'll see that this will go with all of my evening outfits. Two, one pair of neutral flats and a neutral tote that will go with all of your day wear, plus give you the ability to flip out the neutral flats for one of your evening dresses for those times when you just feel like, I don't wanna wear a pair of heels. One pair of neutral colored pool slides. Please don't do flip flops, they're too pedestrian. Please don't, just do a pair of pool slides. It's much more chic and it's much less pedestrian. I personally focus primarily on one piece dressing. Why? It makes it so much easier. I focus on dressy and casual maxi dresses, one piece dressing, rompers, jumpsuits every once in a while if I wanna throw one of those in. I limit my jewelry to maybe one sparkly pair of statement earrings for evening. Other than that, um, and my wedding ring, I just keep it light and airy. <laughs> All right, let's look at a few things that I will bring and would wear to a resort. So this is what I'm wearing now. This is a yellow maxi by Bronx and Banco. Uh, the dressy maxi, it looks amazing. It is so easy to put on, so easy to wear. It travels impeccably, but you can see how incredible this looks. This is an example of what you would wear out to dinner at a high-end resort. I've thrown it again with my white heels, a white clutch. You can put it with any coordinating bag and shoe combo that you like. I threw on a pair of white chandelier earrings, put my hair back in a low bun, and that's it. Also easy when you're going on vacation, you wanna be comfortable, right? So I found that putting my hair in the low chignon is the easiest. One, I think it looks elegant and I think it looks chic, but let's face it, it's also easy because you don't wanna be washing and drying your hair every day. I don't when I'm on vacation. So I just slick it back, put it in a chignon, give it some hairspray, swipe on some gloss, and it looks good. Second night, another example of how wonderful maxi dresses are. This is again, I love Bronx and Banco. They do a really nice job with glamorous, but but, you know, not ridiculously expensive uh, maxi dresses. I love them. Uh, this particular one is like a royal blue with white. Again, same bag and shoe combo, and it's super easy. So it lets me focus on enjoying my vacation, but I still feel like I look good and I look appropriate for a high-end resort. We've, um, from time to time, stayed at the Four Seasons Wailea in Maui, and this is something that I might wear if we were going to dinner at Spago for the evening. So this is a little more casual than the Bronx and Banco, of course. So I would wear this. I either during the day and I would put it with a pair of nude flats and the same clutch bag, or I can dress it up a little and then I can wear it with the white shoes and the white bag. But again, this is more of a casually chic kind of dress, really easy to wear and again, Notice all the one piece dressing. It looks high end, it looks chic and appropriate, but it's so easy to do. Another example of a very versatile maxi piece is this green bodycon maxi. One, I love the color, it's fresh and clean, but it is also very versatile as well. You can wear it with mid heel and a bag, or you can wear it with a pair of great flats and a tote as well. 
This is something that I would wear if we were just walking around town, maybe doing a little sightseeing, maybe going into town for lunch or a little shopping. I would absolutely wear the flats, a pair of neutral colored sunglasses. I throw my hair back and I put a pair of like gold hoops because it just looks chic, but it still looks pulled together. Of course, you could also wear this out to dinner. It would be more of a casual dinner. Don't try to make it into something that it's not and wear like fancy heels with it. It's not that kind of a dress. Okay, let's talk about pool time, shall we? Now, when we go on these sorts of vacations, we usually spend a lot of time by the pool. You know, you work really hard, you put your time in. We just like to relax. We order lunch, we order, well, I was gonna say drinks, but honestly, we order bottled water. Okay, so you're gonna want a couple swimsuits and you're gonna want one to two cover-ups. Cover-ups are really easy to travel with because you can just roll them up and stick them in your bag. I usually bring a black one and a white one. I like this black one, I found it at Nordstrom. It's versatile, it can be worn two ways. It can be worn as a tube dress, which you can see I'm doing on the side here or you can fold it over around your waist and it can be worn as a skirt. Side note, I would usually wear it as a tube dress. You don't wanna walk around the property, through the hotel lobby, or certainly into any of the restaurants with just a bathing suit top and the skirt. It's just, it's just tacky, don't do it. You always want to have a full cover up, even if you are coming or going from the pool, and yes, I know it's vacation, but we are talking about high-end luxury resorts, and I'm telling you what is not appropriate to do. It is not appropriate. I don't care how great of a bang and bod you have. Do not walk through the hotel lobby, the property, or the restaurants in a swimsuit. Men with your shirt off, flip flops, no shoes, don't do it. You want a full cover up it is what they expect at a higher end resort. I also have um, this white one and I have it in black too. I wish I would have shown it to you in black. This style I prefer. It's so easy. It's basically like putting on a robe and you just tie it in front. Next for daytime, I love easy rompers, one piece dressing, and easy, light, breathable fabrics. This little romper on the side, I just got it. Easy to wear, breathable, gauzy, loose, and flowy. I'm wearing my nude flaps. They go with everything that I brought for daytime. And then if we're going into town or just walking around, I just put on a sun hat and a pair of sunglasses. And look how expensive I look. It looks expensive. Here, I've got a Skims bodysuit. I love the Skims line. It just looks clean, pulled together. It's breathable and comfortable, very easy to wear. It goes with everything. So I have the bodysuit and then this pair of high-waisted, very loose-fitting pleated trousers. So super comfortable and just my nude flats. Again, for shorts, I love wearing shorts too. No big deal, I just didn't show them today. Stay away from anything denim, frayed, holy distressed. Do not do that at a high-end resort. Do not do that. It's great for walking the dogs, I do it all the time. If you see me around Solana Beach, yes, I do that all the time. Not for going to a high-end resort, I'm telling you, do not do it. For makeup, keep it light, keep the focus on your skin. I stick to a lightweight sheer foundation, under eye concealer. I don't do a lot of blush, I use MAC Shell Color Base. It's a sheer luminizer and I just pat a little bit on the tops of my cheekbones. You can see I've already used it today. A little on my nose because I want the focus to be on looking glowy and luminescent. Always, always, always use a makeup setter. You don't wanna get all dressed up and it's kind of hot and muggy out and your makeup sliding down your face. I use one of two. This is Skin Davia, and I also use uh, Nightlife by Urban Decay. Both really good and will keep your makeup fresh and in place for the day or for the evening. Oh, two pro tips for you. One, as I'm packing, I put all of my outfits together that I wanna wear and I take pictures of each individual outfit so I have it on my phone. That way I remember what I'm going to wear. Two, once we get to our destination, the first thing that I do, I I unpack everything, hang it up. I look and see if anything needs to be iron pressed. If it does, I call housekeeping and I ask them to launder or press whatever I need to have done and we go out for the day. Yes, you can probably do it yourself. Me personally, I like to focus on enjoying my vacation, not on ironing my clothes. When you're ready to go to dinner, you're not pulling something out wrinkled and then trying to iron it. Trust me, it just makes it much easier. Okay, ladies, I hope that that was helpful and I hope you have an amazing time wherever you're planning on going this summer. Be safe. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I'd love to have you. Brand new, fresh videos every Tuesday and Friday. Safe travels and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye y'all.